Hey everybody, this is Dave here at Pulp Alley and today we're going to talk about what is Pulp Alley and what do I need to get started? This is a question that comes up every once in a while so it's, it's worth taking a look at it again. So Pulp Alley is a tabletop skirmish game. It's an adventure game and although uh, you know we, we have pulp in the title and that's because it's an homage to the old pulp magazines. Uh, so we're really intending to create the type of adventures, uh, high adventure and excitement from the old pulp magazines, the old serials, and that sort of thing. It's a broad umbrella, you know, it's, it's not a single genre, although we mostly play in the 1920s to 1940s sort of time period. Uh, the pulps and the serials really covered a, a lot of territory, so they covered westerns, and Pulp Alley works great for westerns. It also works great for sci-fi and horror and on and on and on. So Pulp Alley was created so that we could play those adventures and those stories from the pulp magazines and the serials. It's not limited to a specific time period, in other words. You could easily use it for World War II or swashbuckling and, and all kinds of stuff without having to buy a repackaged, rebranded game like so many other skirmish games do. We use it for post-apocalypse and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, what do you need to get started? You know what, before we get too much further, will you take a moment and just real quick, uh, make sure you hit that like button for us. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you get subscribed to us. And if you're already a subscriber, make sure you click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Another thing I wanted to share with you today was a really cool um, uh, note that, that was on our Pulp Alley Facebook Players Group. Uh, it's called uh, Pulp Alley Players Group on, on the Facebook. And this fellow left a, a really nice note, and, and it's so, it really does warm my heart when we get stuff like this because, you know, it's, it's somebody that really gets it, you know, that understands what we're trying to do, and, and yeah, that's, it, it really means a lot to us. So, just real quick, uh, first I would just like to say how much I enjoy this game. As a father of a son and daughter, both young adults, I could say that many tabletop games are very niche and specialized. And yeah, the, a lot of them are. A lot of them, you know, okay, the, this game is for this setting, you know. And if you, and, and you want to play in this setting, then you have to buy this version of the game. Although you bought the game over here, now we're going to sell you the post-apocalypse version. And now we're going to sell you the pulp version of our game, right? It's just goofy. Uh, pulp Alley, you don't have to do that with. You can, you can play a wide variety of genres because it was intended to be used that way from the very beginning. This goes on. Um, <coughs> sorry about the cough. Uh, Let's see, it goes on, it says, it is so nice to play a tabletop miniatures game that can uh, uh, be played easily. I love uh, role-playing and miniatures gaming of all sorts, but it is truly awesome that my children can have fun with a game that fits their play style. Of all the games I have played with and without my family, Pulp Alley is by far the best gaming system I have played with. Wow, wow. Um, the limits of this game are only defined by the limits of imagination. And that's, that's, that means a lot to us. He really gets it. He understands the, the idea behind Pulp Alley. If there was a concept Behind Pulp Alley, it really is that idea that, that it is only limited by your imagination. And that's why we don't do a lot of charts and tables that you have to roll on during a game. When you, when you run into a peril during a scenario, you know, it's fun for the players to have the opportunity to say what that is based on that situation and that setting, you know, and have fun with it rather than limiting it to, well, that's one of these five things, roll on a chart and find out what it is, you know. That's not the way Pulp Alley works. So many skirmish games out there are very creative about the way that they take away your choices. Pulp Alley really is about letting the players make choices and have a lot of fun along the way. What do you need to get started? I'm gonna tell you one thing, you can get started for free. 
we have, uh, now the printed version is not free, but there is a quick start guide out there on the interwebs. You can download it from the, the Pulp Alley Players group on Facebook, or you can get it off of our web store. There is a free download, a free quick start guide that'll easily get you started understanding the rules to Pulp Alley and getting, and, and there's even a couple scenarios in here. There's a couple uh, pre-made leagues so you can start playing right away. One of the things that you do need along with uh, the rule book is the, normally you're gonna wanna have a fortune deck, and that's this right here. A fortune deck or a starter deck is what this is called. It's called a starter deck because it not only includes a fortune deck, but it also includes the, the basic reward cards as well. So great place to get started. And again, this is free uh, if, if you download the file. There's a file for it on our store. There's a file for it on our website. There's a file for it on the uh, Pulp Alley Players Group. So this you could download this deck for free, print it out, make one yourself. Or our handy dandy, really nice premium deck is, is cool too. So with those two things, you can get started playing Pulp Alley if you download them for free. Or, you know, you could buy the ones that we have on our store as well. If you're going to do a lot of solo gaming, then I'd recommend the solo deck as well. Uh, it replaces the normal fortune deck if you're going to do a lot of solo games. You still want to have the starter deck. You still want to have that one because it has the rewards in there. Uh, but also because, uh, you know, if you want to play with other people, then you have that option. If you only have the solo deck, it's really only designed for solo play. The horror deck uh, is also optional. Uh, it's, it's not something you have to have, but if you're gonna include a lot of horror in your games, um, then, then, uh, then that's, that's there to, to add that aspect into it. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, when you look at, oh, someone like H.P. Lovecraft was a pulp author. That's pretty much the only place that his stories were ever published were in the pulp magazines. So uh, it is not a stretch to include horror as part of the pulp umbrella because it really and truly is part of the pulp genre. All right, all three of these decks are available for free to download off of our store and our players group and off of our website. So if you wanna download these decks, go out and get them now. Uh, you can also start with the basic rule book. That's a great place to start. Um, this is gonna give you your character creation rules so you can create your characters from scratch. It gives you the campaign rules so you can, you can watch your characters gain experience and reputation and all that sort of thing and grow, have your characters grow through their campaigns. A lot of fun to do that. Also includes a lot more scenarios, just a lot, a lot of stuff. So this is a big beefy rule. It includes the basic rules for including vehicles and da 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 da. There's just I can't stop about everything that's in this book. It, it's such a small book, but a lot, a lot of stuff in this. A lot of fun to get started with. And you could you could get this one book. Make sure you get the the deck that you need or decks that you need. And you could play with that for years. You know, you get, you already have your own miniatures, you have your dice, you have some terrain. We did. We, we quite literally played with our rule book and, and you know, uh, for, for years before we started really adding to it. Uh, I don't want folks out there to be intimidated uh, by the idea that there's a lot of stuff for Pulp Alley because if you look at our store, you're going to find that there are a lot of cards and a lot of books and a lot of miniatures and things like that. Those things will come over time, you know, as you, as you continue to expand on Pulp Alley. You don't have to start with everything, right? If you were going to start playing Dungeons & Dragons today, you wouldn't go out and buy everything that was available for Dungeons & Dragons. I would hope not. Same thing with Pulp Alley. Don't be intimidated. Just because most skirmish games don't actually, you know, support their game, that's that's not the way we work. Uh, we we actually enjoy Pulp Alley. We have been publishing it for you know nearly ten years now, and we have expanded on it because we love playing it. So a lot of the stuff that we've added to the game is stuff that we wanted because we're actually players. 
If you really wanted to go crazy, then you could start with the starter deck or the starter box. And, and this is a lovely place to start as well. This includes the uh, two leagues, uh, eight metal miniatures. They're not painted and some of them, you know, need to be glued together. It also includes the rule book. It also includes the quick start guide. It also includes the starter deck. Um, it also includes some cool rule uh, bookmarks. It also includes some dice. It has a lot of stuff in the in the starter box if you if that's a way you want to start as well. Um, I guess that's it for today. Then uh, don't miss tonight's live game. We're going to have a special announcement. We're going to talk about. Who is our special guest for Sunday's live Pulp Alley game? And if you are new to Pulp Alley and you have not been watching our, our live games on Sundays, please be sure to watch our live games on Sunday. Those are a lot of fun. It gives you a great opportunity to ask rules questions. It gives you a great opportunity to see the game in action. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. We will see you next time. Bye, everybody.